Hello guys first of all wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year 2021 hopefully this year will be much much better compared to the evil 2020 with this hope let's start a new playlist today and we will be discussing uh, splunk phantom we'll be starting a new playlist we will see different aspects of splunk phantom using examples as well okay so in this video we will be working on how to install splunk phantom as a standalone in installation maybe in later videos we will be talking about how to do cluster installation as well now when we talk about splunk phantom right so it's it's a security orchestration engine and automation engine right so that means it will help you to automate several stuff like let's say when an users credentials got locked now without a support person intervention you can create a phantom playbook which will do this stuff automatically that means automatically unlocking that user credential based on certain inputs definitely there could be numerous examples or use cases we can use splunk phantom so we will see it uh, in in later videos now in this video we will just concentrate on how to install phantom in a standalone mode now there are several ways you can install phantom one of it and i think uh, today we will be talking about mostly the two two parts there are other ways like you can you can basically you install it from a amazon marketplace image any if you have any virtual appliance like oracle virtual box you can install phantom over there as well you can install phantom to an existing server using rpm package as well other as well like on a system with in limited internet access and unprivileged user as well so based on your need maybe you need to see the corresponding documentation now in this video i'll show you two ways and we'll be basically working on a single way like installing the phantom to a server using a rpm package that that is the most easiest way to do it even the amazon marketplace is also an easiest way but as we will be working on a will be working on this google because we are working on this google cloud in our in in my other video so that's why i thought like that will be a better approach because maybe some some of you already have the google clouds available to you and i i think i discussed like how you can get free access of the google cloud for one year so that you can leverage as well now first i will show you how you can install phantom from the amazon marketplace so for that i logged into my AWS console now you need to go to EC2 here now from here currently i do not have any instances running so i if i just click on instances and launch instances so here you can search phantom so if i just search phantom over here if you see there is a option called AWS marketplace now here if you see there is an image available splunk phantom so you can just select it and install it now the th the thing about this one is it will cost you so let me select that now if you see like they have given the cost as well costing as well so if you are interested in this one go ahead and do it with uh, you can just continue and it will install uh, splunk phantom and i'll show you how to access splunk phantom as well so if you prefer aws you can go ahead and install this one from here so this is one way and the second way is you can install phantom as a rpm package now for that let us first try to see what are the requirement actually general system requirement now if you want to currently i think the phantom is supported on rhel 7.6 through 7.8 and centos 7.6 through 7.8 this is the minimum requirement you need to have and these are the supported browsers you will be having it and the supported file system and and the required directories that will be automatically created by phantom now how you will be doing it we will come over here install splunk phantom okay we need to come over here as a rpm package okay so so first of all what we'll do is i will go to my google cloud instance and from there first i will create an 
instance first. So I'll go to VM instances from Compute Engine. And from there, let, let, let it load the page. From there, I'll be clicking on create. Now let's give it a name called Phantom, the instance name. Region, you can choose according to your need. I'll be keeping this US central one. Now the, the CPU, the machine type, you can select this one. Maybe you can select E2 standard to a GB memory. For currently, I'm selecting that one. So in future, if we need more resources, maybe we will be adding it over here. Now, this is important, the operating system. So as it is, so let's say, as it is only supported in RHEL and CentOS, so we'll be working on Red Hat Enterprise Linux only and 7 only because it is currently supported the 7 version only. And this size is fine. So, and this is important. The default access is fine. Thus allow HTTP and HTTP access. This is also important over here. So I'll be clicking on create here. So basically it will be creating a RHEL 7 instance here. Now after that, we will be trying to install Phantom over here. So let it, let it create. Our instance has been created now. So we will go to SSH here first. Once we logged into the backend, we will first sudo to root. Now, if I just go back to the documentation again here, so we, we basically created a RHEL7 instance here. Now, first thing we need to do it over here is run this command so that you just, you just need to update the yum here. So I will clean all, then I will update it. Just follow the instruction there. Once the update happens, we need to restart once. So we will just run this command. Clear. And we will run this particular command. So it's basically, it's basically restarted that particular instance. So once it is done, we will try to install Splunk Phantom now. Now one thing you need to remember over here is, this one will install the community version of the Splunk Phantom. So for that, you need to have a Splunk Phantom community access. So for that, you can, in, in Google, you can search Splunk Phantom community. It will, it will basically take you to this particular page. From here, if you just click on this free community edition, so you will, it will take you to the community page. So over there, if you're the first time user, you need to, register for this one. So I already registered there. So that's why I will not be doing it over here. So it's a very simple one. And once you do that one, so you'll be basically creating a user ID and password. The same user ID and password will be required when we'll be installing Splunk here in this, in this, in our Google Cloud instance. So I'll be providing this link in my video description as well. So if you are not able to find it, you can check out from there as well. So once I think it is done, so let us let open this SSH instance again. So after logged in again, it, you need to have access to sudo basically root user. And then we will be going back to the documentation again. Now, as we are working with RHEL, so first we'll be running this particular command. So the current version is 4.1.0 if you see it. So it will be we'll be running first this one. So it will be ret retrieving that particular package. Then after we did that, we need, so it basically creates this particular directory. If I, if I just show you here, so if I just go to CD slash OPT phantom. So this particular directory has been created now. So now what we'll be doing it here is there is a script called phantom setup.sh which we need to run it to install the Splunk phantom here. So I'll go over here and I will be running it. Now it will ask you for do you want to proceed and here the username and password will be your community username and password. So I'll be giving it here. I set up with my same email ID.
and my password here so once you do that one it's going to take some time even we you install with aws marketplace image or from here at least it will take 5 to 6 minute or maybe more than that as well up to 15 minutes it can take it so be patient on that one so i will be let it install it so i'll be fast forwarding this one So Phantom has been installed successfully as you can see it here and if everything goes fine the exit code will be zero here. So so now we can just access Phantom using the external IP address of our Google Cloud instance. So if I just go here and copy this guy and write something like this one HTTP colon slash slash this one so it should bring up the phantom instance now okay it may give you this this warning here okay so it is bringing bringing up the splunk phantom instance now now the default password for splunk phantom is admin and password p a w s w o r d so that's the default credential for the admin user now you you need to change it after you log in there so I'll, let me show you that option as well so it will ask you for the end user license agreement so you just need to scroll through it and accept it and it will bring up the the and if you see it here like it will bring up the main window here and if you just need to go through some kind of basic tutorial you can go from here as well so it will it can help you to set up something like how many events let's say how many events you want to generate let's say three so so it will basically generate three events here you can view the event as well you can run it will basically it just normal normal tour setup tour here okay and if you just want to run some playbook which we'll be seeing it in the latter videos as well we'll be exploring this this stuff even you can view the playbook as well and each and every playbook is just like a just like a python package python code basically so we will see how to develop playbooks as well in phantom so those stuff we'll be seeing it okay now once you click on this configure phantom so it will ask you for to change the administrative password as well so if you see it here if you want to change the new administrative password because the default password is this 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 string only password so which you need to change it let's say i will change it to something meaningful okay and some company so is basically a company setup over here let's say youtube something like this one okay and you can just save and continue so it, it will basically change the password for your uh, phantom instance now this this configuring data source and all we will see it in in later even you can change the password from this admin account settings as well so from this screen as well you can change the password let me show you that one even if you see it over here username and this one and if you just go to change password here you can change the password as well okay so that you can do it as well so hopefully this video was helpful in in next videos we'll explore more about splunk phantom see you in next video